Hey there, we should be live, I believe. Yes, we are. Excellent. All right. So thanks for being here. We're going to be talking with Michael from Company Cam. And Company Cam is an amazing app that have changed that has changed contractors' lives. So super excited for you to be with us to uh, discover this uh, new app. Well, it's not new. It's been out for a little while, but new to a lot of my audience for sure. So um, go ahead and uh, tell us about yourself, Michael, and let's get rolling. Yeah, you bet. So uh I came to Company Cam about two and a half years ago. Uh, I started as one of the only people on our sales team. We didn't really have a sales team. So I kind of started with there. Uh, I'm not a contractor by trade. So the whole contracting world was a little bit new to me. Um, I came from the education world. And actually what we're going to talk about tonight with documentation, it was very important for the education world as well. So I kind of quickly learned what contractors need to be taking pictures of and documenting. And so now I do business development, education. So I do a lot of these kind of things. Um, so yeah, excited to be here and uh, hopefully get some questions from you or from the audience. We'll get rolling. Yep, sounds good. Um, and then I guess, do we do you want to discuss what Company Cam is now, or do you just want to go straight to the slideshow and just rock and roll with that? What's what do you feel? Yeah, like? Yeah, so uh, maybe jump into the slideshow. I think I've got a couple slides in there that kind of cool. lay out what Company Cam is. So we'll kind of do that. And like I said, we can we can jump off topic here if we need to. But all right, I think we should be able to. Yeah, let me go ahead and hide our names. I don't think that's necessary. All right. Let's go into the slideshow. So there we go. It should be up and running. Yeah. And um, yeah, just let me know what I need to do and I'll facilitate that for you. <laughs> Perfect. So this is just kind of a mashup of a couple different uh, slide decks that I've created to try to, you know, condense it down to, you know, 10, 15 minutes and allow for some questions. But I just titled this one Dom Dominating with Documentation. I love that, I love that title. I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and how, uh, you know, the subtitle there of how sound documentation is saving contractors thousands of dollars uh, or making, like depending on how you want to look at it, it's Correct. either going to save it for you or make it for you. Um, so let's, let's jump into the first slide here. Talk. So basically we'll set the stage with like the process and then we'll talk about how you can protect yourself and your money with okay. proper documentation and then we'll talk about covering your butt and we can get into some actual real cases where the insurance carriers paid because you had proper documentation i've got a couple of good stories there so oh i love those stories those are my absolute favorite so cool all right so this is the question i i get a lot and it's phrased many different ways but why won't my guys take pictures? My guys won't take pictures. I, I hear it all the time. It's, you know, I usually ask, well, tell me about your photo process when I'm mm. talking about company cam. And I hear it all the time. Oh, I wish we took more. Or, my guys don't take more. Um, and so it's commonly asked, like, why won't my guys take more? Um, I know for a fact from talking to tons of people in the industry that this costs you thousands of dollars and it obviously wastes time. And so, um, right. We'll talk about the process and then we'll talk about how company cam can kind of fit into that process. Okay. Um, what I find is most of the time that when these contractors tell me my guys just aren't taking pictures, they don't have a good photo process in place, if that makes I sense. I am 100% behind you on that because 85% of the people or so that I talk to when I, before they go through our program, they take like through four pictures, right? They'll take um, <laughs> some damage on the roof, the close up of a shingle, Maybe like a screen that's damaged mm -hmm. and um, and then like a random something gets in there. And that's it. Like if yeah, they're even doing that, if they're it, even doing that. Absolutely. And then I, uh, I've i got a good uh, good friend and he, he works on claims a lot. And he goes, yeah, they'll send me four or six photos and tell me, yeah, man, this is a slam dunk case. Like yeah. we're going to get that. We're going to get that roof bought. No problem. And so, sure um, thing. yeah. So my next slide here just talks a little bit about the process. This is what I pulled out of about a 60 minute uh, presentation on creating processes and how you okay. can implement them, but cool. really creating that standard operating procedure. Uh, you have to have it in place. It needs to be in writing. You've got to train, train, train to it. You can't just, you know, give your guys a photo checklist and say, go, it's going to be perfect. Um, and then make sure you're measuring it some way. 
one really easy way is for you to look at your photo documentation tool and say, how many pictures on average are we taking per job? Nice. And maybe, maybe even looking at how much are we taking and then, you know, how much are we getting in ter terms of an ROI on that and uh, see if there's a correlation yeah. to, hey, I took 30, I got a 50% ROI. I yeah. took 75 and my ROI went up. And so if you, if you can do that and give those numbers to your sales guys, mm -hmm. They're going to take more more pictures then. So that's kind of what I've got on creating the the procedure. And then we get to talk about the lovely company cam here. And so excellent, yeah. And um, by the way, going into standard operating procedure, I do have a Facebook live over here on uh, the page that does go over a photo checklist. So if you want to take a look at that, um, we have lovely Emmy that likes to visit. So don't mind the Whoa. cat. <laughs> she, well, she makes an appearance. Uh, uh, anyways, sorry to get off topic, but yeah. No, so, so there's a, I totally stand behind Michael on that. There is coming from the adjusting world. You'll notice an adjuster does it the same way every time. Not only are they required to, but it makes them faster, makes them lose less information and creates a system that just, it, it, it's, 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 it's a world where if you have it the same way every time, so many great things happen for you. So I just want to back up that statement and we have a checklist yeah. um, in another video if you want to go check that out. But let's keep going. Company yeah. cam, what is it? Yeah, so I've, I threw a nice Polaroid camera there. So Love that. basically we are here in Nebraska. Uh, it's, you know, I'm hanging out in lovely uh, Nebraska right now. It's about 40 and rainy, but uh, nice. we we're owned by a roofing company here locally that basically was having a difficult time getting their pictures from the field so that they could use them. They actually were probably ahead of the game in terms of knowing the importance of taking the pictures. Yep. But then when they actually came time to need them is like, I don't know where they're at. They're probably on Joe's phone. They're probably on Steve's phone. Or I know I uploaded them to this Dropbox folder, but they're not there anymore. Right. Uh, so we are a solution to fix that. If you jump to the next uh, uh, slide here, basically we are a, an app on your phone. We use GPS location, so when the when the guys get out to the job site, the projects are pulled up automatically based on GPS location. Nice. They take the photos, and that's all they have to do. They go straight to the cloud in real time. You can see them. Anybody else on your team can see them, so you have real access to them in real time. So when I talk about the you know, company cam fitting into your process, hmm. most of the time people's process is going to have one of the, the naughty words in documentation of upload, send, attach, any of those words, you've created that hurdle for your guy out in the field when really what oh, you want okay. are, you want pictures. And now you've put this hurdle in front of them that adds time and, um, you know, it's kind of a chore to their job. And it's like, uh, I'll take the bare minimum then if I have to upload or I have to come back at the end of the night and drop all these into a folder. Or, right. Um, and so we've basically eliminated that, that hurdle. We, so what I'm hearing is take picture, picture goes up. That's it. That's it. As okay. soon as you press capture, picture goes up. Um, it's real time. It's fast. I mean, you can go and take, you know, if you're on a commercial job, you could go take a hundred photos in a couple minutes and company can, they're all sorted right by that GPS location. Okay, so the GPS location that we're seeing here is almost like a folder where they're stored with that that street address. Is that what we're seeing? Yeah, so they're, um, we don't like the word folder because with okay. folders, every, <laughs> everything gets hidden, if that makes sense. And okay, so cool. With ours, it's, it's yeah, it's kind of got a folder aspect to it, but it's, it's outward. So when okay. you open the app up, and that's what we're looking at is the home screen of the app there. Oh, gotcha, it, cool. It, it puts all your projects chronologically. You can customize like how that looks. Mm. Um, but the big thing is, is yeah, every, it's gonna be all by name of project, address. So you can filter and pull those up really easily. Um, you know, I wanna see progress on 123 Y Street. If you type one, two, three into the search bar, it'll pull up everything there. Boom, I'm into the project. I can see, you know, did we get it done? Uh, did we tie, get our tie-offs done? Where? What's the status? Um, so for owners, it's amazing at the end of the day. It's, you know, instead of having to worry about it or try to drive job site to job site, they can just see where are we at with Perfect. each job. 
Yeah, project managers, everybody is on the same loop. Now, let me ask you this. If you go out the second, third, fourth time and are taking those photos, they automatically go to this photo reel or whatever you want to call this feed here? Yep. So every time you show up to the project, the GPS will locate where you are and it's going to pull up any nearby, like super close projects. Oh, gotcha. And then they simply have to confirm. So, you know, a lot of times I talk to guys that are using, you know, a Dropbox or some sort of solution that they, they've been using it for a long time. And they're like, oh, my guys get the photos in the wrong place or they won't upload them. Yep. You almost have to try with company cam to get <laughs> photos in the wrong spot. It's like, man, how'd you get those there? Like the GPS okay. takes care of it for you. And then it, it lays them out nice and, and, and orderly too. So you can see, you know, maybe I did a re-roof last year. I go back out this year to look at a leak or some, you know, minor damage. Right. I can, yeah. I can see what we did last year. And I can speak to that with the homeowner and say, oh, it looks like we re-roofed your house last year. Um, looks like you do have some new damage. Um, and then having all that obviously is great for getting things paid. So say you're out last year, they got hail, but they didn't get enough to um, get it totaled out or to mm -hmm. you know, get any replacement. Um, so they didn't file a claim. But then the next year you come out and it's like, okay, we can clearly see the change from last year to this year. Yeah, cool. So now we've, now we can prove that that new date of loss is legitimate because we have documentation from, you know, whenever I was out there the last time. So, right. Amazing. So cool. Yep. Super exciting stuff. Ooh, fancy. Yeah. So this is, <laughs> I, I threw this slide in there, um, you know, because the easier you make it for the adjuster, the easier it is to get paid. And so this is just one we have, but anything at all that you need to prove to get a line item paid, mm -hmm. you can go and drop in there the annotations. You can add the notes. Mm -hmm. um, when you create the uh, PDF reports, which we'll talk about, um, you can pull all those notes in. I All of our photos are going to be timestamp dated and geotagged, which is great. But if I really wanted to get fancy, I could drop the timestamp right on the photo even oh, to show. Nice. Here you go, Mr. and Mrs. Adjuster. That is exactly when that photo was taken. So cool. That's so cool. Excellent. And so this is captured um, not only, how do I say this, in the app. It's actually on, like if this is a JPEG photo and I needed to download it and you know, do something different with it, it, all the annotations come with it. Is that correct? It's a stupid question, but does that yeah. make sense? No, yeah, they do come with it. But say you've got annotations on a photo and at the end of the day you go, I don't want those. I can right. pull those. I can pull those annotations off okay. at a later time as well. So. Cool, because in Xactimate, the annotations are really hard to use, and they're nonsensical, and it's just ridiculous. So if you just do it right when you're there on the photo, that's what I was. Um, yep. That's what I'm alluding to, because it's such a yeah. hard thing to do in Xactimate itself. So if we do it prior. That kills that issue. It's amazing. Okay, cool. Yep. Perfect. All right, and we'll jump to that next slide. Why it works. Um, so this is kind of just a. The, the summary slide of one of my presentations, it's real time. So, you know, you don't have to worry about your guys doing anything after the fact. They take right. the photos, they're done. Um, it's easily, um, you can easily find and share photos. Uh, that's kind of the reason, like I said, that company cam was created so that when you truly need the photos to prove that, you know, there was damage, uh, you can easily find them, but then it's equally as easy to share them and you get that complete documentation. So depending on the structure of your company, um, you can take photos from the second a sales guy steps on property all the way through the completion of the job. So, you know, you're ripping shingles off mm -hmm. and you get the rotted decking and it's, hey, we need to take a picture of this rotted decking. So we we get that full picture uh, for the for the insurance company and for the homeowner, you know, love that. Yeah. Yeah. Showing it to the homeowner is so vital too. I think they missed out on that presentation and that really does blow them away. I'm sure you have some great testimonials um, showing like a before and after like the homeowner's like, Whoa, that was so cool. I'm telling all of my friends about this. Yeah. It's a, it's, it is kind of crazy. I mean, uh, roofing's probably not the most glamorous thing for <laughs> organic marketing, but we have a lot of features that make it to where, you know, you're sharing photos, you're showing the homeowner, um, just makes it easy for them to be in the loop of communication. Yeah. So you do get some organic marketing that way as well. Absolutely. And I think that's one of the main complaints when you ask a homeowner who's had a bad experience, like, well, my contractor never communicated. I have no idea what went on the job site, you know, all these things and you can take care of all that just with photos. It's amazing. So, oh, yep. This is probably gonna be a good one. 
Yeah, cover your butt. So we'll, this is kind of when we can get into story time here. Um, but we'll jump to the next one, slide here. Um, we'll, I'll just basically tell you a few um, stories. But co- the problem areas that I commonly run into is getting photos. Obviously, we covered that with the SOP and using company cam is going to make that part easy. Finding and sharing photos, company cam all the way. Um, remembering why you took a photo and communication are two things that I I see missed all the time with contractors. Right. Um, a, they get the photos stored in their phone because they're not using company cam. And they're like, I don't even remember what, what job this was on, trying to figure out where they were at. And then they look at it and they're like, I don't even remember why I took this photo. And like you yeah. mentioned earlier, they take that one close up of a hail hit and they think, yeah, I'm, we're going to get this job paid for. We're good. We're golden. Yeah. Um, and so I, I took a couple of pictures here on the next slide, I believe. See. One here. Um, this is the next one. Yeah, let's jump past that one. The reports are awesome. Uh, we can talk about those later. But remembering why you took the photos. Oh, so here's, there we go. Here's just a couple, you know, that um, they're both decking um, issues, but you can see um, really simple, really easy as to, hey, why did I take this photo? Why is this photo there? I can now share this with my, with my adjuster. Um, and then one story that... I don't have a slide for this, but I wanted to share that really just kind of ties all this together. I've got a contractor, Wes Dabransky, I work with down in uh, Dallas, Mm -hmm. and he had a new guy, just hired. Guy, I don't even know if the guy had a truck yet. Oh, my uh, gosh. Didn't have a ladder and an adjuster appointment. Basically, one ran long and was going to run into another one. And so he wasn't going to be able to drive across the Metroplex to get to this next adjuster appointment. So he says, I'll send the new guy. So he sends the new guy. New guy shows up. No ladder. I don't think he had a truck. We'll, we'll say he didn't for sake of the cool story. Uh, <laughs> but he 100% did not have a ladder. So new guy gets there. Adjuster says, sorry, you can't use my ladder, you know, right. for whatever reason. Oh, totally. So adjuster says, but I'll, go, I'll get up there. I'll, you know, I'll take a good look. Gets up there, spends 10, 15 minutes up there, gets down and says, I, I just didn't see any damage. Well, there was damage, and Wes knew there was damage. So new guy calls Wes and says, hey, got up there. He said that there's no damage. Well, new guy hasn't been on the roof. He doesn't have a ladder. So Wes says, hey, show him we took 150 photos in company cam. Show him our company cam photos. New guy pulls it up, starts scrolling through. Juster says, well, maybe I should get back up there. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Gets back up there. Guess what? Roof gets... Paid in full. Suddenly there is damage. Yeah. And so oh just like um, Wes, Wes loves this. T- the story doesn't probably love me telling it all the time because he's like, man, I got a roof paid for without a ladder. And <laughs> he did like right. purely because he had the proper documentation and then he has all that documentation. So then when he f- turns in the job and, you know, if he has to supplement or do anything on the back end, He's got it all. It's already done. It's already ready. So he's not going to have to make another trip down there, you know, and get a photo because they forgot one simple photo that might be worth, you know, it might be a $500 line item and I just didn't get a photo of it. And, you know, so getting that complete documentation up front is huge, especially in, you know, the larger cities, the Metroplex. Yep. Um, So, yeah, that's, that's kind of, I think, I don't know that I really have a lot left in the slideshow, but I would oh, love to. Question. I would yeah, love but that was a great, question. that was a great story. Absolutely. And um, there was something to say, you know, just something simple as, um, like you said, you have to have the system of taking photos, I think is vital in, con- you know, in connection with using your app. I've seen people get, you know, um, going from zero photos to taking a great, you know, following checklists, the systems that we have, they'll go from, you know, um, you know, adding maybe $2,500 in supplement items that they just, you know, ask for uh, normally, but when they can show the photos, they add, you know, five, 10 grand because they can now show, you know, the drip edge uh, ran, ran, you know, over, over the felt paper, just stuff that they can, if they just follow a system and get all the pictures the same way every time, what's the flashing doing? You know, the step flashing, is it going up underneath the siding? Uh, do, you know, what's going on with the chimney flashing? Is it, is it up underneath the siding around the chimney? Those are the things that get paid. Those are the things that make ex- exactly your best friend um, and, and, and get those line items that most people are saying, ah, I never get that paid. I never, 
it's because you don't have photos. So that's my whole point. Anyhow, yeah. so um, I think it's a beautiful thing. Let me go back to here. Let's see if we have any um, comments. I have a hi, Emmy. That's what I have as a comment. Um, so um, any questions, guys, go ahead and start. We're going to go into a Q&A period here. Um, my question is, in Xactimate, we need to pull down the photos and actually include them with our report. Mm -hmm. um, one of the reasons behind that is that they say, oh yeah, I got your estimate, but I didn't get your photos. And that's a common thing that we hear. Um, they try to weasel out of the documentation. Not that adjusters, I have adjusters who watch me. They know I don't think they're weasels, but um, they, you know, they'll do some things not to get paid, have to pay the line items. So to get that photo, um, down into Xactimate, is it, a, is it something that they can download? And um, just walk me through a little bit of that process because I haven't personally used the app before, so I haven't yeah. had to do that uh, process. Yeah, absolutely. So there's there's kind of a couple answers to the question, okay. and I, th I think it just boils down to different adjusters and their preferences and how they operate. Right. I, I always tell my contractors to start with the easiest possible way, and then we can work our way. Okay. Um, we can create a PDF photo report in Company Cam. Okay. That's going to have all the photos down the left hand side. Any added notes or documentation that you want to add about the photos down the right, you can add. You know, little subheadings and those kind of things. So okay. front slope, back slope, right slope, left slope, um, and then save that as a PDF. So I have quite a few contractors that go that route. So they save it as a PDF, they turn that in with their um, Xactimate and they're done. Okay. Um, if for whatever reason that's you know not acceptable by some adjusters, which there are some I've heard don't want to do that, um, you can simply download, you just, from the web, you just go and select whatever photos you want, easy to download them, um, and then you can upload them right into Xactimate. I don't think you can drag and drop into Xactimate. I know you can drag and drop out of company cam, but I don't think you can drag and drop into Xactimate yet. That would be too easy. Why would they do that? I know, I'm gonna throw a shameless plug out there. We are, uh, company cam is kind of Switzerland when it comes to technology, we wanna, play well with everyone. Sure. Um, so we are working to um, at least have a conversation about possible integration with Xactimate cool. because that would be unbelievably nice if I could take all my photos in the field and s easily select which ones I want to automatically populate into my Xactimate. So, so. And, that, and that would serve them as well because um, I think they have an issue with their photo system. It just doesn't, it has never quite worked. I've worked with it for seven years and it's just never quite been right. So if they could just integrate, that would be awesome. So I hope that's good news coming down the pipeline maybe. Yeah, in the near so, future, that would be great. Hopefully, uh, somebody tunes in and says, like, "Hey, <laughs> let's get that done." I have a couple of uh, people I can send this video to, so um, for sure. Uh, but on that note, um, getting that PDF report out, um, going back to your systems and processes, I advocate that they take photos um, in a certain way every time. Like I said, and there might not be damage, but I still mm -hmm. like them to have the photo so they can say, "Hey, there was no damage while we were here." Maybe they have a flower bed that. You know, they took great care to cover and everything. And when they take away the uh, shingles and everything, they can show, hey, our flower bed's still intact, stuff like that. But that wouldn't necessarily need to go into their Xactimate report. That's going to be a homeowner issue, right? Mm -hmm. So um, in that instance, where I'm going is if you have a PDF report, you just check the, the pertinent photos, I'm thinking, right? Yep. And that's what's created is what your selection. Yep. So basically, when you hover over from the web, you just hover over a, a photo okay. and a little checkbox and you put a check mark in. And then once you've selected one, then you just go through, easily click. I want this one, this one, this one, this one. Cool. Um, and then it's create a report. Uh, you can also easily like share just a link. So, you know, a lot of times there's communications outside of, you know, there's multiple communications going on. And so right. a lot of times you just, I need to share 10 photos really quick with whoever. And I can do that with two clicks, you know, select my photos, share, get a link, and then I email that over, text it over, whatever is easier. So cool. we've, we've really tried to make the process of sharing the photos as easy as possible. And so right. that's amazing. Okay, cool. So that that's, that's a, a great feature there. And then I'm thinking, um, 
if so my whole thing is is if they get the estimate and they're like i didn't see a link i didn't see that you could take the pdf report from company cam and actually upload it as an attachment in exactimate i have a youtube video on how to upload a pdf as an attachment so if they say oh yeah i got your i got your estimate then they also Perfect. have your photos because it's in the same file it's in the same pdf so I that would it. be that would be much easier than grabbing the photos and putting them in just might as well just use the pdf and use your system so that's cool i didn't know you had that and that's yeah. a great shortcut for them absolutely um, and so i don't know exact company. i don't know exactimate as well as you do obviously and so i knew i had people that were creating the pdf photo reports and doing something that they didn't actually have to upload any photos anyway yes, sir. and that's probably the the step they're taking so yes sir yep that's a beautiful thing uh, i do have a question here i want to say hi to marion marion's been here the whole time and he uh, they say great having the extra photos and data attached so marion are you using company cam love to hear that um elias has a question he saw some measuring options in the app how accurate and reliable are the measuring tools um right now can you speak to that yeah absolutely so um a couple of things we would never advocate that you know you go and cut a board or anything like that with the measuring tools okay. uh depending on where you're at so like if i'm on the roof and i can get and grab us basically you grab a surface um with our measuring tools and so okay. i grab a surface i can get really close to it i'm going to be able to get a pretty accurate measurement you know mid to high 90s hmm. um for for accuracy so really good for estimates, those kind of things. For the purpose of what we're talking about right here, I can go and put a 10 by 10 square right on the roof. And okay. then I can go, up, go in and actually annotate right on it. So there's my 10 by 10 square laid out on the roof, take a picture of it so that they can, the adjuster can see it. And then I can annotate right on that 10 by 10 square. So gotcha. um, okay. you know, if I want to avoid chalking up the 10 by 10 square, I can actually do it, you know, in the photo. Um, I can do multiples, really whatever you want to do there. Um, so as far as the question goes, it's mid to high 90s for accuracy. It's very good for estimating um, things. You're not going to cut a board on it or, you know, measure new new skylight or windows with it. Mm. Uh, you're still going to want to use a tape for those things. But if it's a quick estimate, I need to see how, you know, roughly how much gutter I'm going to need. Yeah, definitely could use it for something like that. Okay, cool. Um, just a side note, do you have anything like a pitch gauge or anything built in? Uh, it does have a pitch calculator in there as well. Okay, yeah. Cool. You can, so you can do area, straight line measurement. Um, we've got a pitch calculator and then we're working with objects that you can put in. So right now we've got few plants. We've got an AC unit, um, but I, I'm pushing to get like skylights and different types of things like that. Right. So that I could actually be up on the roof and you know, maybe upsell a homeowner, do some of those things, show them what that skylight would actually look like on the roof, take a picture of it. So a um, lot of cool things with augmented reality, um, but I will be full, fully transparent. Company cam at its bread and butter is for documenting, storing, sharing. So everybody should use it for that. But I, I wouldn't want somebody to say, oh, man, I'm going to use company cam purely for this cool measurement tool mm -hmm. just because, you know, that's not our bread and butter. That's a cool add on to company cam. Right. Um, but the, the true value of it is the ease of storing and communicating um, all of your documentation. Cool. Yeah. Great clarification for sure. Awesome. Um, okay. That's um, all. That don't have too many questions. I think we did a great job. Uh, but if you do have questions and you're watching this after the live, be sure to comment below. We'll, we'll definitely, I'll try to um, put you in touch with Michael or someone who can answer your questions. So I do have a lot of people who watch after the fact. And also we're gonna put this over on YouTube. So it'll be cool. You have uh, even more eyes on this. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So let's talk about your offer. Like what, what does it cost, man? Give us the, yeah. give us the meat and potatoes here. You bet. So um, super simple pricing structure. Uh, I do have an offer on that last slide after the question slide. So while I'm kind of talking pricing, if you want to maybe slap that up. Um, but basically, that. we are going to anybody watching this, we're going to give a 30 day trial to. So that's awesome. basically double the length, a little over double the length of our typical trial. Um, and then the pricing is super easy. Uh, it's $12 a month per user. That's that's what it is. So there's no hidden fees. Uh, I call them the Verizon fees. You know, we're not going to get you with, oh, hey, 
just so you know, you accidentally went over your photo limit. Unlimited right. photos, unlimited projects, $12 a user. Users can have it on phone, tablet. They have access to the web end of things. Um, there's no contract. And then we prorate everything as well. So roofing is not, a, not an easy easy thing to do. I, you know, I wouldn't want to do it personally. I couldn't do it, I don't think. Um, I don't like getting up on ladders. But, you know, a lot of people think that it's for them. And then by Friday, they find out, eh, this roofing thing's just not for me. We're only going to charge, you know, the four or five days that that person was in there. We're not going to. Okay, cool. So for a week. Yeah. yeah. And I have a lot of um, restoration and remediation guys too. I mean, you hire a, a crew and they're like, eh, we don't want to do this. <laughs> so yeah, I totally hear you. Um, especially when you get into sucking out water out of basements, that's not so as fun as some people think when they first sign up. So um, don't want to be negative, but we get the idea or they, they yeah. understand that you've got some turnover in this business. So um, yeah, prorating is cool. And um, I will put this link in the uh, comments below. So you can just go right to that link. Actually, I'll put it in the description. And uh, we've got a, a, a referral link here for you guys to try out 30 day, which is actually quite special. Um, it is an extended trial as to what you um, normally offer from what you we talked about. So we thank you for that. Um, uh, is that true? Is that an extended time or am I making that up? In my head? No, no, that's, yeah, that's, <laughs> it's, it's roughly two weeks longer. It's 16 days longer than the, than the normal trial. That's um, what I want to hear. Honestly, uh, it's great to have the trial. If you truly download company cam and add your team to it, I would say within the first three days, you're probably going to say, where has this been? Like, why have we not been using this? Uh, your guys will love it. You're going to be able to see, you know, what's getting done in real time. So. Uh, cool. Oh, and then on their slide, it says here, custom photo checklist available, drop your email below. So do you want them to put it in the comment section or? Yeah, if they, yep. If they just drop their email in the comment section um, and you were mentioned that you guys have one as well. So we could maybe even mesh the two together sure. and co we can work on that. And get them yeah. something awesome and uh, we'll get those out and little teaser. We do have video going live here any day. So anybody that starts oh. now is basically going to have video the whole time and then we are working on photo punch lists from the field so we would be able to take those custom photo checklists and punch lists and actually step new hires or anybody for that matter through it so you know it basically mailbox number driveway wow. uh, house number and then all of the you know subsequent photos so we're working on that feature as well that should be coming soon but video is coming any day so sign that's up now amazing you're gonna get video within your trial so that's amazing love that so um yeah i'll put that in the description and uh, the link to that for them to get their 30 days and then again if you guys have questions comment below and also comment below with your email to get the special super special checklist that will send your way so uh with that michael any parting thoughts here anything else we need to add before we I would just say this will probably be the uh, best decision you make in 2019 for your company. So download it now. Uh, don't wait till next year. Um, I always hear that. The two things I always hear are my guys don't take enough photos. This looks great. I'll try it next year. Oh, so, man. Yeah. Go now. Missing, I will attest you are missing out on thousands and thousands of dollars because every contractor I work with is like, I'm going to shoot myself. I can't believe for so long. I've been missing out on this. So yeah, I, I can attest to that um, immediate ROI of your $12 <laughs> will happen. <laughs> um, uh, I can definitely vouch for, for Michael and what he says. So appreciate you being here, Michael. We loved having you as a guest and uh, we'll, we'll hopefully get a lot of comments and uh, send out those checklists. And uh, yeah, there's Eli Elias. Thank you, Elias. He's already got you. So he already put his, his, uh, email below ready to go. So, okay, well, we'll put that uh, link in the description again. You want the checklist just in case anybody showed up here at the end, check free checklist, anyone who puts their email below. So, all right, Michael, we'll call it a night and uh, we'll see you hopefully sometime soon uh, around the Absolutely. bend. Absolutely, Sounds good. Thanks for having right. me. Thanks. <laughs>